All right, guys, happy Tuesday, November something. I don't know where I put my phone. Here's my phone. Uh, 28th, I think, November 28th. I don't remember from my daily devotional today. November 28th, it is 9.01 in the morning. Um, it's cold out there. I just did a two mile walk and it was like 50 degrees outside. So it was freezing. Um, I wore my North Face hoodie that I got from Lori, uh, Lori Tata. Laurie Teta, thank you so much, Laurie, for that. It's been very beneficial here <laughs> at this moment right now. I know I have another hoodie that's in my P.O. box from Dan Demand that I got on One Nut, but I haven't got to my P.O. box yet because I still have no car. I'm hoping today is a day where I get my wheels back. It'll be incredible if that happens. I'm not happy with this transmission company. They've been promising me things and under-delivering and under-delivering and under-delivering. Hopefully today is a day and I get it back. Um, besides that, um, I edited all the videos for the week yesterday. I think I might start editing um, main channel videos as much as I can to get a nice little things in the hopper for me because I'm gonna be away, except for Christmas and the holidays um, at the end of the month. I might be away in many locations. <laughs> Depends on where I go and stuff. And I just still haven't figured it out yet. And um, I'm gonna be moving. I yesterday I signed my pre-lease for this for this building, which is me, which means that the house is off the market and it's mine. And I have two weeks to tell them if I want it or not. And if um, I want it, I st I sign my lease in two weeks, and we go from there. If I don't want it, the money that I paid for the pre-lease is gonna go towards my next house. So I'm not missing anything out. We signed the pre-lease documents yesterday. Uh, so the reason why we have that is because I haven't seen what the house looks like yet. I've seen what the house looked like uh, in 2007. That's when the first person moved in, but he's been there since 2007. And so they've been updating, I'm so getting new counters, new floors, new appliances, and the house should be ready this week for me to go take a look at it and see if I like it and if I want it or not. So. Hopefully it's all good. Hopefully it's how I envision it and hopefully we get the house. I'm well already got the house. Hopefully I like the house and stuff. So that's happening this week. Listing, selling, having whatnot shows, you know, the whole spiel. Again, thank you guys for came out to yesterday's whatnot show. That was very good. I made like $177 after all fees. I've been on for about over an hour. So that was incredible. Um, those felt good. It helps with <laughs> What I need right now because I'm going to need a lot of money for even for a transmission. I'm going to have to put down a lot of money on this house. I need a first, a last, and a deposit. That's a decent amount of chunk of change. We got Christmas coming up, so I got to buy presents for everybody. I have a lot of people to buy presents for this year. So I need I need the cash. So thank you guys so much for coming and supporting. I really do appreciate it. Anyway, I'll put you guys down. I'm going to call the transmission place. See what's up there. See, because I have to plan my, my day around them. Um, so probably start doing that and then maybe start listing or start working on more videos we'll see all right so we're in the middle of editing our video but we got a phone call that oh sorry about the darkness that my car is ready so we're gonna stop what we're doing go pick up my car hopefully get it back everything's good and continue to work here when we when we come back all right guys so we are back from uh, we are back with the truck so that's amazing. We got the truck back. That's great news. Um, I called um, my rental company to see if the house was available for me to go look at. They said that they're still working on it and they can't let me in until Friday of this week. So I can't go and show you guys the house yet. But once I get the keys, I will show you guys probably this weekend when I'm out there seeing uh, everybody um, what the house looks like. So you guys can get a tour hopefully on sometime this weekend of, um, of what the new place is. I'm excited for it, really excited for it. And then they said, once I see it and give the go ahead, I have, uh, and I'm signing new things, I can start moving in. So all of December, every time I go up to uh, Pinellas County, every time I make the trip, I'm just gonna load my truck. So my truck is eight by six by four. It's a lot of square footage to put stuff in. I can load totes, I can load boxes full of stuff and slowly but surely take everything from here to there and then like i said i just have one big weekend where i'm gonna take all my furniture 
and all the stuff that I can't break down, I take it to my truck. So like I'm looking into my garage right now, there's a couple things in here that have to go in there. Like this shipping thing right here, this rack, this rack. I thought I had two of these, maybe I just have one of these racks. Cause the rest of these I can break down. Oh, this one down there has to go. The washer and dryer has to go. The rest of this stuff here, I can break down and, and, and take individually, which then I'm gonna start with, with, with stuff in the garage. So um, I can see one, two, three, four things, plus the washer and dryer from the garage, and then all the big furniture in here, which is gonna be like my desk, my bed, the guest room bed, the table, the couch, the chairs, the couch is outside, and my outdoor furniture. Um, all that stuff's gonna go one big swoop on, on a Saturday. The rest of the stuff I'm gonna slowly but surely take, uh, take and uh, start moving. I'm gonna, uh, gonna try to remain sane. <laughs> Move. <laughs> continue to provide content, continue to, 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 to run an eBay channel, and then still have time to visit, uh, and then still, have, still visit both sides of the family uh, for the holidays, so gonna be crazy anyways right now though when we came back we finished the video for thursday so that video is done that doesn't mean tomorrow i'm not gonna edit like, like i said i'm probably gonna be doing a lot of moving and stuff so when i am here i'm probably gonna try to edit and get caught up and and have stuff videos ready for future days that i probably won't be able to edit uh available to edit like this sunday i might not be available to edit right now so i'm gonna have to make as many videos as possible so that video is done. I just had a dinner, had some chicken thighs. They're pretty delicious. Um, defrosting some, I think, chicken breast or chicken legs for tomorrow. I'm gonna go into the crop, crop top? Crock, crock, crock pot, crock, crop top. I don't know. So um, that's me for tomorrow. Right now I'm headed to the gym. My knee finally feels good enough. Right there, I can go to the gym. I still can't do push-ups or anything like that with it. It still hurts too much for that, but it's good enough to walk and it's good enough to go to the gym. So we're going to the gym and do a workout in. I haven't been to the gym in a while. Last time I went, I think it was Friday before Thanksgiving. It's already the following Tuesday, so like 10 days. So I'm gonna go to the gym, start working out again. Uh, I, I've been maintaining my weight. I, I've been good, I haven't lost um, like I had Thanksgiving and stuff and I am not the same weight that I was going into Thanksgiving then coming out so the, all the all the mac and cheese and mashed potatoes and all the stuff that I ate during Thanksgiving is I'm now back to <laughs> to where I was right before so like I didn't I didn't gain any weight but um, uh, because I continued to eat healthy afterwards and to keep walking and can kept getting those steps in but we got to continue to lose now so um, we had a really good day today already. Step-wise, I think I did three walks, even though it was freezing outside. I, I did or I, I did three walks, and now I'm gonna walk to the gym, do a workout, come back. And every time I do that, I come back, I'm exhausted. I just shower, I go to bed. So this is the last thing you're gonna see me from me today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, happy chilly Wednesday morning. It's Wednesday, November 29th. It is a cold one out there. I don't know what it is right now, but when I went at the 7 a.m. walk, is it still 46? It's 50 now, it's 50. When I was doing my, my, my walk at 7 a.m., it was 46 degrees. 46 is cold, <laughs> 46 is cold. Right now it's 50 degrees. We're out here in the garage, we're gonna pack all the orders. Um, but so, it's cold, very cold for Florida, very, very cold for Florida. But even though it's cold for Florida, the sales are hot. The, the, the sales are continuing to be hot which is uh, great news even though already pretty much going to December stuff is still selling so I'm very happy with that we had 25 sales on eBay for over a thousand dollars two sales on Poshmark and then one two three on Macari make sure one two three on Macari so very very good day <laughs> let's talk about the um, Poshmark sales first I saw this Pyrex Cinderella um, uh, mixing bowl um, on Poshmark for $35. They came from the big yard sale purchase where I bought everything a couple weeks ago on a Friday. Like the golf club putters, the action figures, the video game controllers, 
a bunch of shoes, hats, clothes, everything. And Pyrex was part of it too. This was part of it, sold for 35 bucks. And I saw another part of the six, I think. Gads Hill Place is sold for $30 on Poshmark as well. That came from the bigger part of 56 buy. On Macari, I sold this Power Ranger uh, Dion Charge black action figure for 20 bucks. He came from somewhere here, I'm not sure where. And I sold these for $40 on Poshmark Christmas Peacock World Market uh, plates. These also were bought here, but I don't remember <laughs> what I paid for them. They sold for 40 bucks. And then I sold these also for 40 bucks. These Suki jeans S uh, silver S U K I right there jeans. Uh, these also came from here. Also, I don't remember what I paid for them. They sold for 40 bucks. On eBay, I had two viewer sales. One to my friend Heather in New Jersey. Thank you so much, Heather. Uh, she bought a Lennox uh, uh, cutting board. Pretty cool. I've never seen I see Lennox right here. Has a star on it. Lennox cutting board. Thank you so much, Heather, for your purchase. Heather has been a supporter of my channel for a long time. Me and her were picking together in a video back when I had like a thousand subscribers. So she's 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 an OG. Thank you so much, Heather, for your for your purchase. And then my girl Debbie in Oklahoma bought two more part of six things. She bought this one, really cute, with like puppies and stuff. It's called a new batch of Christmas friends, and then this one with a wagon, some fixing wagon, wheelwright and son. So thank you so much, Debbie, for your purchase. Debbie bought I lost track how much the part of the six things for me. Uh, but it's a lot. Thank you so much, Debbie, for your purchase as well. Besides that, I sold this Hot Wheels uh, track builder system. This actually, I still remember where it came from, kind of surprisingly. This came from a storage unit in Philadelphia. One of, them, one of the last storage units I bought. I think I paid like 30 or something bucks for it, and it had a ton of stuff. Like a ton of nice DVDs, Blu-rays, and all this other stuff. Uh, there's a video on my main channel about it <laughs> a long, long time ago. This was in there. It finally sold for like 35 bucks. This... Rainbow High doll sold for thirty dollars. I got it. <coughs> I got it for ten at Webster's flea market. It's not the best ROI there, but it sold. The Strimmer Home sock hop Santa sold for twenty five bucks. I got him at the hundred mile yard sale in Pennsylvania with Kelsey the first time around. I got a bunch of Christmas stuff there. All of it sold besides this. This is now the last thing to sell. So another Ohio patch for $14. Uh, these are now back up to 14 bucks because eBay is allowing uh, patches to be part of the the the, the card shipping. You now, if you sell if you sell sports cards, you can ship them for like 60 cents, something like that. So you could do you could you could done sports cards, you could, you could done like postcards in the past, but now they're allowing patches and other things part of it too. So I changed my price. So I was charging four dollars for shipping. I added that to price of the patch and I'm only charging 75 cents for shipping so these are selling for 14 bucks again um, another card could be Brian hardcore card I don't remember what that's for them like, like 10 bucks this is actually a pretty decent game Madden 16 it's sealed that's why I bought it I thought it would be maybe worth a couple bucks so for 30 bucks so I'm pretty happy with that uh, Thermax cream I tried ice cream you guys know me I've been selling these for forever now still have quite a bit left to sell uh, that was sold for $12 so the cute little polar bear ornament this actually funny enough came from the same storage unit as these hot wheels it's crazy how like they, they sell at the same time a little ring right there is part of it too um they yeah, sold for like 12 bucks uh these oster beaters sold for 14. <coughs> so another one of these uh buckling books sold for 12 bucks another one of these ornaments sold for i think 14 or 15. It's actually a pretty good sale right here, $100 sale. Um, Western Loke Special Locomotive. I think I paid 30 bucks for it at a yard sale. I paid 30 bucks for a yard sale in Rotonda. And uh, it had a $40 sticker on, $40 sticker on it, so it made me intrigued, looked it up, so sold to had some decent comps. I asked for 30 and she said yes. So uh, sold for 100 in like less than a month. So another one of these sexy time corsets. Um, this is like a Delta Captiva sweatshirt, so for 30 bucks. I got it at a church rummage sale on a fill bag day. So I have like pennies into it. Looks pretty cool. Um, that sold. Um, the an Ella Bean sweater sold for like 12 bucks. These OP swimming shorts sold for 20 bucks. These are also part of like a big church sale buy, so I have pennies into those. Uh, this Vince sweater sold for I think 15. And these Woolwich pants sold for 50. I got them at the 100 mile yard sale in Pennsylvania with Kelsey this year. 
finally listed them. Listed them over the weekend. Um, with all the clothes. Same thing with the OP swim trunks. Listed the same day as those Woolwich pants, and they sold. So they got to list more clothes. They they sell. Uh, Rad Hat Society Girls sold for eighty dollars. Um, I think I paid twenty for them at a yard sale in Punta Gorda. Finally sold for eighty. Probably gonna be buying them again. I, th I thought I could I could like buy them and slot them up and thought they would sold like separately, but they don't. Uh, but still twenty to eighty. I'll take that. These Cad's Christmas shoes sold for fifteen bucks. I'm gonna buckle to them at a yard sale here. It's a good sale down there at Santa. The motion animated Santa. I think I paid five bucks for him in Pennsylvania. Sold for a hundred. And then the best sale is this Sony camera right here. Uh, that I got at a yard sale in like Clearwater. And we'll just put in my dev pile until I made a video about it earlier this week. I was like, oh yeah, I bought that camera. I went, I found it, I listed it. Sold the same day for 150 bucks. So this is why I gotta list your items, guys. <laughs> this is why I gotta list your items. So there we go. That is all the sales. I'm put you guys down and start packing them up. Uh, it's much later in the day. It's 12 o'clock. It's time for me to have lunch. Uh, I've been busy just listing, making content, doing the stuff. Look at what I got for lunch today. Oh, you guys can't see because it fogged up. It fogged up. Don't fuck it up. Look at that. I got some chicken thighs in the crock pot. It fogged up again. Food's too good. Food's too hot. <laughs> so we're going to have some chicken thighs for lunch. Super excited about them. They look, I mean, the house been smelling amazing for the last like four hours. Been making me very hungry. So I'm super excited to try them. I hope they are as good as they look. The recipe said that they should be very tender. I like the bone. Let's see. I would say that definitely qualifies as tender fall off the bone. Oh man. Oh that is scrumptious. That is freaking scrumptious. So excited.